Texas Governor Rick Perry, who is running for the Republican presidential nomination, is in the middle of another controversy, this one involving the name of the family hunting camp, a name that used to include a racial obscenity painted on a rock at the entrance. Our political correspondent Jan Crawford has the latest on the fallout from all of this. Facing questions about the racial slur, Rick Perry said his father painted over the word after he leased the land. But the Washington Post quoted visitors to the camp who insisted they saw it on the rock when Perry went hunting there. When asked his views on the story Sunday, Herman Cain was blunt. The name of the place was called Niggerhead. That is very insensitive. And since uh, Governor Perry has been going there for years to hunt, I think that it shows a lack of sensitivity. But today, it was not Perry, but Kane, who grew up in the Jim Crow era in the segregated South, taking heat from conservatives like Rush Limbaugh. So here you have the Washington Post with an unsupported non-story. And here comes Herman Kane piggybacking on it, trying to uh, uh, capitalize on it. Kane, who has captivated voters with his straight talk, told reporters today he had made his point. All I said was the mere fact that that word was there was insensitive. I am not attacking Governor Perry. Now, conservatives may be defending Perry, but Bob, this story comes as he's trying to get his campaign back on track. And just when voters are asking, who is Rick Perry? All right. Well, thank you very much, Jan.